Aden, former Yemeni President Ali Abdullah Saleh says he is ready for a new page in relations with the Saudi-led coalition fighting in Yemen if it stopped attacks on his country. The call came on Saturday as his supporters battled Houthi high fighters for a fourth day in the capital Sana'a as both sides traded blame for a widening rift between the allies. The Iran-aligned group have escalated tensions after saying they fired a missile towards a nuclear power plant in Abu Dhabi. Over 2 million people have been displaced since the conflict in Yemen began in 2014. A beagle named Buttermilk makes a valiant attempt to escape a Virginia dog shelter. Fast bowlers feel the effects of New Delhi's smog during the third and final test against India. U.S. President Donald Trump denies instructing James Comey to drop the investigation into Michael Flynn's dealings with Russia, and one of his lawyers takes responsibility for a controversial Saturday tweet. Large crowds of demonstrators gathered against government corruption in Tel Aviv on Saturday. The UK faces a deadline to meet key Brexit conditions and China, the US, and Europe's biggest economies report their latest import and export numbers. The US bill plans to cut taxes by $1.4 trillion over a decade. The Iran-aligned group have escalated tensions after saying they fired a missile towards a nuclear power plant in Abu Dhabi. Over 2 million people have been displaced since the conflict in Yemen began in 2014. Together they have fought the Saudi-led coalition that intervened in Yemen in 2015 aiming to restore the internationally recognized government of President A.B. Dirabu Mansa Adi after the Houthis forced him into exile. The clashes between Saleh's supporters and the Houthis underscore the complex situation in Yemen, where a proxy war between the Iran-aligned Houthis and the Saudi-backed Adi has caused one of the worst humanitarian catastrophes in recent times. I call upon the brothers in neighboring states and the alliance to stop their aggression, lift the siege, open the airports and allow food aid and the saving of the wounded and we will turn a new page by virtue of our neighborliness," Saleh said in a televised speech. We will deal with them in a positive way and what happened to Yemen is enough, he added. Saleh, who was forced to step down by a 2011 mass uprising against his 33 years in office, said Yemen's parliament dominated by his GPC party, was the only legitimate power in the country and was ready for talks with the coalition. Get the latest news and updates emailed straight to your inbox. By submitting your email you are agreeing to Fairfax Media's terms and conditions and privacy policy. The Saudi-led coalition welcomed Saleh's change of stance. In a statement carried by the Saudi-owned al Haydath channel, the coalition said it was confident of the will of the leaders and sons of Saleh's General People's Congress Party to return to Arab fold. The Houthis accused Saleh of